This is Jerry Mischewski with Balance Community Slack Science out here in sunny Davis, California. Uh, today we're going to go over how to reeve your pulley system. Uh, before I get into it, uh, I'd like to define what exactly is reeving. Uh, reeving is the act of building your pulley system, threading the rope through the sheaves, and at the end you have a finished pulley system. And so uh, there's two main methods that I'm going to go over today. Uh, the first being the left to right reaving method and the second being the right angle reaving method. Um, so the right to left reaving method, uh, some pros and cons of this. Um, the first thing I should note is with the right to left, both pulleys are going to be oriented in the vertical position like they are right now. Uh, with the right angle, you'll have one horizontal and one vertical. But uh, what's advantageous about having two vertical uh, pulleys is sometimes when you're anchoring your static end of the pulley system, this being the static side, you got a tree here or your anchor, sometimes having your connector here, like a shackle, through there, it's going to be oriented horizontally. And sometimes that's good for when you have a horizontal anchor. Uh, sometimes when you have a, a horizontal pulley like this and your connector is vertical, it's, it's harder to, to build an anchor to that. Um, so in certain situations, that's beneficial. Um, some cons of the right to left reaving method is you'll get a lot of friction within the strands of the ropes running through the sheaves of the pulleys, especially from the knot going to the first sheave and the, the next strand coming out to the next sheave, they will often rub up against each other. And it's even worse when you have an embedded break inside the pulley system. And so there are certain instances where this is a good way to go. For instance, when you have a, a bigger than 5 to 1, when you're using a 9 to 1 like this, you can't do the, the right angle method, and right to left is often the best way. But let's go into how you're going to set this up. So the, the methods of actually reaving the pulleys depend highly on what brake you're using. So what you want to do is figure out what side of your brake the tail is going to be coming out. I'm using the eddy here, the Edelworth eddy, and the tail comes out this part of the device. And so if I'm embedding the brake like this inside the pulley system, the tail is going to be coming out closest to me. And so I want that last strand coming from the moving pulley that is connected to my webbing to be on that same side, the side closest to me. And so that means when I start reaving, I'm going to want to, to reave the side furthest from me first. So it starts furthest from me, goes furthest from me, comes close to me, comes close to me again, and then goes to the break. So I'll show you how to do that right now. The first thing you want to do is tie that figure eight in the end of the knot, or into the line, and attach it to the becket of your moving pulley. The moving pulley is the one that's connected to your webbing. like that. Make sure the pin's on tight. And then, since I'm using this eddy, I'm going to want to reeve the first, the sheave that is furthest from me first. And so, I'm going to go up through this sheave, just like that. And now, since this strand is coming from the top of that pulley, I'm going to want to enter the top of the moving pulley here. So, I'm going to go down through that sheave it's on the same side as this one, so furthest away from me. Just like that. Now I'm going to run it to the other side, and since it's coming from the bottom, I'm going to want to enter this sheave closest to me now from the bottom. And now back to the other pulley. It's from the top here, going down the top, and exiting the bottom just like that. And so you'll notice that there are no twists in the pulley system there. Looks good. So now we'll attach the brake. Open up your brake. And like I said before, the tail is coming out on the side closest to me. Now this may be different depending on what brake you're using. Sometimes it'll be on the other side, or you want to flip the eddy such that the brake tail or brake handles on top. So you would reave it the opposite direction, reaving the sheaves closest to you first. 
So we'll put the brake in there. Just like that. And there we go, that's the right to left method. Just like that. And as you can see here, this is the tail coming from the brake. And this is the strand where we would build our multiplier. And so, as you can see, if we had the multiplier right there, there's no crossover, there's no friction on any strands of the rope. Whereas if this strand was coming from the other sheave, we would have a lot of crossover with this strand of rope here. And that causes friction and robs us of our precious mechanical advantage. And so, that is the right to left reaving method. Alright, the next reaving method I'd like to go over is called the right angle reaving method. And so with this method, you'll notice I have the pulleys laid out in front of me. One pulley needs to be horizontal and the other needs to be vertical. It doesn't matter if you have it such that the moving pulley is horizontal and the static pulley is vertical or vice versa. Whatever works best for your, your setup. For instance, if you're using a line grip and you want to use the right angle reaving method, you should rig it such that your static pulley is vertical and your moving pulley is horizontal so that you have minimal interaction with the webbing and the line grip. It's a very nice system. I typically rig it like this with a horizontal pulley on the static side with a vertical shackle and then you can pass your span set through there and it sits really nice. And that allows your brake to sit vertically like this and your handle is facing downwards which is another thing i like to go into right now uh, regarding how to set this up. Um, you'll notice that with your brake like this, with the eddy at least, the tail will be coming out the bottom. And so you want your last strand to be leaving the bottom of this pulley here, the moving pulley. And which sheave it leaves depends on which side of the tree that you're pulling tension from. I typically pull from the right side right side meaning looking at the static anchor or yeah the static anchor over there I pull from this side of the pulley system the right side and so I want the last strand going to the brake to be leaving the right sheave right here sheave furthest from me and that's so when I have my multiplier set up here I have minimal interaction with the other strands of rope in the pulley system so now let's go into how to set this up so take the end of your rope, tie a figure eight knot with a backup knot, like so, and attach it to the becket of your moving pulley. So, <clears throat> first thing you should do here is uh, you should note that the two strands in the, each sheave are going to be going in opposite directions. It's a little strange and it's, it's kind of weird to figure it out, but um, basically with the caveat that I'm going to end coming out the bottom of this sheave furthest away from me. I'm going to want to start with the bottom sheave here, pass the rope towards me like this. Now take this tail, and since it's leaving the bottom of this pulley here, I want to enter the bottom of this pulley here. Up, like so. Now this strand is leaving the top, so I want to enter the top on the same side, going the opposite direction through this pulley. Same thing here, it's leaving the top, so I want to go down this sheet here. There we go. And now I'm going to install the tail into the brake. Got the eddy here, so the tail is there. Loaded strand is there. Close it up. And I want my handle to be pulled down to open it, and so I'm going to orientate my brake like that. Through here. Set it up like so. There we go.
that's the right angle reeving method. You'll notice here that this strand of rope, this is the multiplier, I have no interaction with the other strands when I'm pulling here. It goes straight there, minimal friction, and that's what's great about the right angle reeving, is there's way less friction between the strands of the rope, and you get the full advantage out of your pulley system. And so I prefer this method for most lines. So that covers both the major methods of reaving your pulleys. Um, the same technique applies to other types of pulley systems, larger mechanical advantage like 6 to 1, 7 to 1, 8 to 1, 9 to 1, and following. Um, for more information on those, just go to slackscience.com and check out the How to Reave Your Pulley System article. And you can also view other articles and videos like this at slackscience.com. Again, I'm Jerry Mischewski, and thanks for watching.